going to practice different methods of surveying. The first method of surveying that we are going to practice is horizontal surveying. In horizontal surveying, there are many different methods that can be used. Here we are going to use pacing. Pacing is just like it sounds, walking a known distance and counting the number of paces it takes to traverse this distance. Then by dividing the known distance by the number of paces, you will be able to find out how far you walk in one pace. The first thing we're going to do in this lab is calibrate our paces. Next, we will go and do a simple experiment to measure the distance between two objects by pacing. Finally, we're going to compare the distance found by pacing with measuring the distance with a tape measure. Now let's head out into the field and test this technique. Okay, so he's going to nail... Okay, so he's going to nail the tape into the ground and then stretch it out a known distance so we can calibrate our paces. And how far are you going to pull it out there? 30 meters. 30 meters. All right. And Scott's down there at the end. So now we have our 30 meter distance. So Scott has his, the back of his heel lined up at the zero mark and he's going to start walking from that position. So off he goes. Four, five. And you just count for him just in case he loses it. Loses count. Thirty-three steps. Scott is going to do it again to see if we get the same number, just so we can have better consistency in our measurements. So he'll start again. Using the pacing equation of the known distance traversed divided by the number of paces it took to traverse this distance, we can then find the distance walked in each pace. In the field, we walk the distance of 30 meters, and to walk this 30 meters, it took 33 paces. That means that we walked 0 0.91 meters per pace. Now, it's time to test this method of surveying. In this simple experiment, we're going to measure the distance from that tree over to that tree. First, we're going to do it by pacing, and then we're going to go back to check our accuracy by using the tape measure. He's going to pace it now. Fifteen. While testing our pacing calibration, we walked the distance between two trees. As we walked this distance, we made sure to count our steps. Then, with knowing the distance traversed in one pace and the total number of paces it took to go across this distance, you will then be able to find the total distance between the objects. In this experiment, we took 15 paces, and since we walked 0 0.91 meters per pace, if we multiply the two numbers, then we will get a total distance between the two trees. In this simple experiment, the distance between the two trees comes out to be 13.65 meters. Now that we found the distance between the two trees by pacing, let's compare the accuracy of measuring this distance with the tape measure. In order to measure the distance between two objects with the tape measure, we must first secure the end to the ground. Next, we will stretch the tape between the two objects. 
Finally, we will read the tape. In this case, the tape measure reads 13.6 meters. Now it's time to compare the two different methods used in this lab. While we were pacing the distance between the two trees, we found that it takes 15 paces to traverse this gap, which translates into a distance of 13.65 meters. Then, when we measured the distance with the tape, we found that the actual distance is 13.6 meters. Between pacing this distance and measuring this distance with the tape, we found only a difference of 5 centimeters. So, in a pinch, pacing is a rather accurate method of survey that can be used when tools are forgotten.